Hello! Today we'll be taking a look at how to add the customized Contact Us widget. This widget differs from our standard built-in Contact Us page in that you can use any email address you'd like without revealing this email address to the user. I will be placing the Contact Us link here in the top menu navigation. But first, I've already logged in, so I will click Member Area to take me to the administration page. Here on the administration page, we'll need to create a new page. So with my mouse, uh, I will scroll down and I will click here in this website manager section on the link that says edit site pages. We're going to create a custom page. So I'm going to click here on custom pages. And I'd, now I'd like to create a new custom page. So I will click this orange button called Create New Page. You can name this new custom page anything you'd like. For the sake of purposes today, I will call this page Contact Mickey. But of course, you can call it Contact Us or anything you'd like. I will click away from this box and the permalink automatically gets filled in. So I will leave the permalink alone. The permalink is how this page is referred to in our Club Runner database. The next option is display on home page. I am going to uncheck this box. I will place the contact us link on the home page manually myself. That's why I uncheck this box. I'm going to leave the content template alone. If you wanted a different layout or a different style for this page, you could click the Change Content Template button and here are all the different ways you can format this custom page. But I'm not going to use any of the different formats. I'm going to click Cancel and just use the standard format, which is Full Width. The access level, I will leave it public so that any uh, user can see this contact us page. The owner, you can go ahead and type in the name yourself as the owner or someone else as the owner of this page. Uh, for this purpose, I'll just leave the owner box blank and I'll click the orange create button. Now I'm on the page designer screen. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on essentials and then as Essentials becomes blue instead of orange, I'm going to scroll down with my mouse wheel again and go all the way down to the bottom until I see Contact Us. I'm going to take Contact Us, click and hold, and I'm going to drag it up, up until I see the main section. Contact Us is now going to be placed underneath Contact Mickey here. I'm still holding on to the mouse button. As soon as I let go, what happens is I now come to the properties for this Contact Us widget. To keep things simple, I am going to uncheck Show Border. I'm also going to uncheck Show Title. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. The only box I'm concerned with is the Contact Us email. This is where I can type in any email address I'd like. For the sake of purposes, I'm just going to use a test email address today. Once you've typed in your email address, you can now click the orange Save button and then click OK. So now we have two widgets, one called Contact Mickey and the other Contact Us. Contact Mickey was created automatically when I created this custom page called Contact Mickey. I don't want to put any content inside Contact Mickey. I'm going to keep this page as simple as I can. So I will hover over Contact Mickey and I will click the red X to remove this widget from this page. Notice this will not delete the widget. This will just get rid of the widget from the main section of this custom page. If I want to bring the custom page back, I can click here on Custom Widgets Page Specific and then here is Contact Mickey which I can drag back 
into the main section if I decided to. So now we have a simple layout for our custom page called Contact Mickey with one single widget called Contact Us. And the only thing I've done to contact us is to turn off some of the settings and the properties and I've typed in an email address. Let's see what this page looks like. If I click the blue page preview button here, this lets me see a preview of this page. And you can see that the um, page generates itself. I did not type in name or email or comments. This was all automatically generated by the widget. So um, this is exactly what I want. Um, one of the things you'll notice is that nowhere on this screen can you see the test email address that I typed in. In other words, it's hidden from the user. When they click send, they will not see the email address they are sending to. I'm now going to click the go back button, which takes me back to the page designer screen. This page is ready to publish and to put into the menu. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to click the orange publish button here. And then I'll click OK. This page has been published. So now this needs to be added into the menu navigation at the top. To do this, I will now move over to Designer and click here on the Designer button. And I would like to edit menu. So I will click the orange Edit Menu button, which allows me to edit the top menus. I will simply add a new menu item by clicking here on the orange button. Once again, the menu title can be anything you'd like. It can be Contact Mickey, it can be Contact Us. Um, you can name this anything you'd like. For this purpose, I'm going to call this Contact Us. And then when I'm done typing the name, I will use the mouse and click anywhere in a white area. Um, the tooltip is a hint that the user receives when they hover their mouse over any menu item. But I will leave the tooltip blank. It's not a required field. I will now move down to link type. I don't want the link type to be folder, so I will click beside the word folder, and this reveals the list of options that I have. I can make this link a built-in page, I can make it a custom URL, I can make it a site page, but for this purpose, I today I want to make it a custom page. So I will click here on custom page, and then here is where I can select which custom page I'd like. So once again, I'll click here, and I can go up to Contact Mickey which is the custom page that I just created. Once I've selected Contact Mickey, I will now click the Save button. This adds the Contact Us uh, button into the top menu navigation. If you don't see it, I'm going to use the mouse scroll wheel again to scroll down, and I'm going to go down and there's Contact Us. It's at the bottom of this menu. The bottom of this menu corresponds to the right side of the top menu navigation. The top of this menu navigation corresponds to the left side of the top menu navigation. So I'm going to scroll up again with the mouse and I'm going to click the orange publish menu button and then I'm going to click OK. So this menu has now been published. Um, what I would like to do is I'd like to see how this all looks live on my website. To go back to my home page, I'm going to go up near the top right and I will click here, the small home button, which takes me back to my home page. And there it is. Our contact us link is now added into the top menu. If I click on contact us, it takes me here to the contact Mickey custom page where I can enter all my information and click send, but the user will never see the email address that they're sending to. You can, of course, repeat these steps to create as many Contact Us pages as you'd like. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to call or email us. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.